Hi guys, it's your favorite mystic, The Siren Says, and welcome back to my Chanel, where I speak about movie, TV, and soon-to-come books, and everything that I like, dislike, and the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything all throughout in between those frames of media. Well, um, let's talk about Anthony for a second. Let's talk about Anthony. Oh my god, is there something wrong with all the Bridgerton siblings? <laughs> I spoke a little about how I feel about Colin. I think even less of anthony let me explain why right i didn't realize why i didn't appreciate season two like everybody else did until i rewatched season one then i was like ah this is why anthony left a bad taste in my mouth kate was fine loved kate but there was something about anthony that was just kind of like yeah sure really ninja really and now i remember why sienna the operatic singer sienna and his her relationship with anthony and the way that that crumbled down what was the point of that i know it was to show a bit more about anthony and his struggles being the first son the firstborn the one ruling the household and you know how he is a bit of a rake but it's like is he a rake he seems to only be playing around with one person um and he seemed like he couldn't like like he kept going back to her this is not me saying that he was completely in love with her but it was kind of hard for me to feel him kate harder um, not not impossible but harder for me to feel him with kate when the memories of sienna were in the back of my mind i just not to say that i prefer him with sienna but the way that, that relationship was categorized it was almost like it was supposed to be seen as a blip something not that important that's supposed to add to anthony's story but to me it was kind of annoying the way that it was categorized I feel like if you wanted to just show that he was shirking his responsibilities and that he didn't take things seriously, let him be more like Simon. Let him be with more than one woman. Let us see that. Because when you show it to be only Sienna and they had all of these pillow talk moments and deep moments together and then by the end she feels like she's been played for the last time and she moves on with somebody else and so he just has to deal with that. And then the next season we see her for five seconds but doesn't really matter because he is completely in love now with kate it's kind of like huh because it was kind of giving that he was in love with sienna and i know that for some people it's like no that wasn't love he made her his comfort zone and he had to get out of his comfort zone to please his family or whatever that is what i don't appreciate about the bridgerton side of things and why i prefer queen charlotte in queen charlotte charlotte and george both had to make sacrifices major sacrifices to make each other happy it was an arranged marriage for goodness sake it wasn't a happy thing right and this is not me saying that like the bridgerton kids don't deserve happiness i don't hate them that's not what i'm saying but it cannot be that like at least for the two that was prominent they get exactly what they want and the people that they've hurt just have to fall in line so sienna loved him but who cares she's just gonna settle for some other guy who probably does doesn't give her the same feelings as anthony and the only reason i'm saying that is because hey if you want to show him and sienna and then throw it away show us sienna at the end actually falling for this new guy I'm not saying completely in love but show that like she's not settling because she can't have anthony you know what i mean that would have given me peace of mind and allowed me to go into canthony with a completely clear slate instead the slate was a little bit dirty for me because i'm like yeah that's not cute anthony that's not cute that's not cute 
and so it just made like the moments you know season two was just all about looking and staring and touching and almost kissing and looking and staring and touching okay seven eight episodes of that it gets old really quickly but i just did not appreciate the way that the sienna thing was hap- was handled in the writing and so it made it harder for me to get in to Cantony until the end by the end i was on board i was like, okay cool cute 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 but look at anthony he gets out with everything he wants he gets the the, the type of woman that he's always wanted she has a little bit of that sienna in her but she's also her own woman and she has the station that would allow him to marry her without ruining the family he gets exactly what he wants just like how daphne wanted a handsome guy who she could go back and forth with you know have have that best friend who's also gorgeous and even though he didn't want kids she forced him to have kids and so now she get her happily ever after am i supposed to be rooting for somebody here i'm just asking and I know for for Anthony it's different because Kate wanted Anthony, so it's not like Daphne and Simon where there's more of a gray area of you know people you know sacrificing for the relationship. That actually makes um, Anthony and Kat a better ship in my personal opinion. There's way less gray area and way less forcing to be together. They were dang near more forced to avoid each other. And that does make them the better couple. I enjoyed them a, a little bit more than Daphne and Simon. I did. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like these shows don't take what they put on the screen into account in certain ways. I know when they put them on the screen, they know what they're going to do and what scenes they're going to relate it to. But sometimes they don't think about the after effects of some of those scenes and some of those characters. Because it's like, okay, but if you don't tie this up right some people are going to have a bad taste in their mouth i know you put it here to emphasize certain things but the emphasis was clear and by the end of it we're sitting there thinking "Eh, i don't really know if i appreciate this character anymore because of all the add-ons that you put there so that's all i'm that's all i'm saying that's just my personal opinion um no season two though it was definitely an interesting season apart from kate and anthony i'm talking about penelope and you know everything that went on with that um but justice for kate's sister why couldn't they have had some like small little thing well i guess all right i see people say why couldn't kate's sister get with the prince and i've heard some people say well you're wondering why maybe she did you know she's you see that she still has the favor of the queen and all of that and blah 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 and you want to know what it's possible it is very much possible that kate has the favor of the queen sorry kate's sister has the favor of the queen and you know I hope that's what they were trying to say with all the scenes that the queen had with Kate's sister. But, you know, I just I just hope that she gets what she deserves because I really liked her as a character. I liked her a little bit more than Kate, in my personal opinion, because Kate was kind of giving grown up Eloise a little bit, a tiny bit. Kate is obviously very different from Eloise, but there was a, a modicum of her that was very fight the power as it were a little bit though not a lot she's not that much like eloise but um there were eloise-esque things about her that i didn't really appreciate now the new season is coming and i know kate and anthony will be in it am i gonna see them and like barf or whatever no i think they're cute i think um them finally being married is way more my speed because the whole will they won't they will they won't they it gets tiring it was so tiring and i couldn't take it anymore so anyways this is another quick speed round of thoughts leading up to bridgerton season three um please let me know your thoughts down below that's what this is for so we can have some discourse and let me know if you're excited for season three i wasn't excited at first until i saw the ad 
And especially after I saw the little shorts on Netflix, <laughs> it's giving intrigue. It is really giving intrigue. And I am very much excited to see what is going on here. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I know I keep saying and books in my intro. Don't worry. The book reviews and thoughts on certain books will be coming because I need to get back into reading heavy. These TV shows are getting on my nerves and books don't get on my nerves as heavy. So we're going to start reading some books. Anyways, goodbye, my sires. Susoo!